A mighty woman with a torch. That's what the poem at her base says. She's a symbolic gatekeeper of a country that under her watch has become the most powerful nation on earth. Her job is not to scare away, but to welcome and show the way. If you look at all the pictures of ships sailing into New York Harbor and all the people running to the side of Lady Liberty, which by the way is, still happens today. As soon as they see the statue is on one side of the boat, they all run to that side of the boat. Stephen Briganti with the Statue of Liberty Foundation says Lady Liberty's reputation today wasn't planned. It just happened. It's interesting because of course the Statue of Liberty was not intended to particularly serve as a beacon of welcome to immigrants. It turned out doing that. But it was given to us by the French as a gift for our form of government. Uh, a democracy that the French people didn't have. It was an idea first imagined by Edouard de Le Boulet. America had just won the Civil War, the Confederacy, and more importantly, in Le Boulet's opinion, slavery was defeated. The Statue of Liberty was a gift celebrating freedom. At her base, a powerful statement to that message, broken chains beneath her feet. But almost immediately, what she stood for began to evolve. The Industrial Revolution was underway. The United States needed workers. That opportunity attracted millions, and the first thing they saw when they arrived was the Statue of Liberty. It did become a part of that total symbol, not only of liberty, but of welcome, of democracy, of a new world where people could make their own way. 17 years after being built, a final touch that would solidify her reputation a poem called The New Colossus was added. It was written by Emma Lazarus, considered the first important Jewish poet in the United States. The sonnet would become one of the most inspiring and famous literary works in history. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. Send these, the homeless, tempest toast to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. Those very words moved one of the most influential actors of all time, Charlie Chaplin. He immigrated here in real life, seeking the American dream. In his iconic movie, The Immigrant, he recreated that moment when he first saw the Statue of Liberty. I do think it is a symbol of hope. About 50% of the people that come to the Statue of Liberty today are not Americans. They may not be coming to live in America, but they, they see it as this symbol of a nation of hope. For a century and a half, this mighty woman who watches over our gate, the mother of exiles, as Lazarus named her, speaks to the world, delivering a message of hope, freedom, the American spirit, undeniably one of the most inspiring symbols on earth.